So, what is a veteran? Um, so, if we're going to answer that question, uh, I would like to go with the uh, legal definition uh, of the word uh, to provide a common uh, common understanding among uh, the community. And uh, that's uh, on the Title 38 of the Code of Federal Regulation, they define veteran as uh, any person that served in the armed forces uh, active duty and uh, was discharged from that armed forces with uh, under conditions other than uh, uh, non honorable uh, discharge and so so that's pretty much the definition so so based on that definition even though I've been in the army uh, about 20 years. I'm not a veteran uh, since I haven't been discharged yet. So um, that could be uh, also another topic of discussion, but it takes, uh, I don't want it to take away, again, what's the main topic uh, that we are addressing for this uh, 22 days, which is the epidemic that we are, uh, that we have here in the United States of uh, suicide among the veteran community. And, and when we say the veteran community, I wanted to define the word veteran so we uh, try to focus and understand which community we're talking about. And also with all this uh, post 9-11, um, with all this um, wars going on in Iraq, Afghanistan, other parts of the world, uh, people think when the uh, some people think uh, a veteran when they think of a veteran they think of somebody that went to Iraq that went to Afghanistan and they don't remember or it doesn't come to their mind that there's still people living that went to World War II that went to the Korean War that went to Vietnam War that's a storm and and studies shows that is the population not the post 9 11 veterans uh, uh but it's rather that population that vietnam war veterans korean war uh that uh suicide is is the highest rate and and among the veteran community um the suicide rate is almost 50 percent higher than the regular population. And that is very alarming when you consider then that uh, the United States has uh, more than 300 million citizens and only 1% uh, raised their hand to volunteer to serve uh, in the armed forces. Uh, it's very significant. So, well, what can we do? And that's something that we're going to talk about in this video series uh, for 22 days, uh, what we can do about it. Um, so one other thing is uh, uh, the acronym. Remember this acronym, SAVE, S-A-V-E. So how can we save a life, right? SAVE. So each letter of this word stands for something. S. Uh, is for signs of suicide. So you're gonna understand, uh, try to see what signs, what red flags are being raised with, with this person. And that could be withdrawal, um, selling goods, that could be uh, aggressiveness, extreme aggressiveness. Uh, There's a, a bunch of signs that uh, uh, that you can put together to try to determine if, if he's a high risk or she is a high risk of suicide. The A, um, ask. You know, yesterday we talked about having compassion. So when you, uh, the A stands for ask directly, are you thinking about committing suicide? Are you thinking about hurting yourself? Ask directly with compassion. V is to validate their answer. Don't be one of those 
person, eh, you're not gonna do anything, you just talk, talk. Uh, don't do that, don't do that. Just validate. Remember, compassion, validate. This person is hurting and needs help. What is the E? So E is encourage help, encourage uh, that person to, to seek help and help them. You know, and uh, one way to, to help them, you know, is, uh, is, or her, right, is to provide them the, the number for the National Suicide Hotline, um, which is 1-800-273-TALK. All right, 1-800-273-TALK. And once you call that number, press number one, and, and that will take you to, to a specialist uh, expert and the materia to, to help you uh, crawl out of this dark hole that you're in. Okay, with that being said, I'm gonna knock out my 22 uh, push-ups uh, in remembrance of what is the national average of uh, suicides per day? Keep strong, keep stepping on. I'll see you tomorrow.